Note that on Monday, after a gap up doji formed right at the resistance level that was obvious to people that do trend lines, that the doji rule took place, which is very simple. The price is usually going to move in the direction of how they open after a doji. The fact that the markets opened lower was immediate information telling us they weren't going through this breakout area. They are backing off. Now, was there any indication that there might be an 800-point drop in the market? Definitely not. But the lower open made a candlestick investor start watching for situations where the short positions might have a little bit of advantage and any long positions that were showing weakness, knowing the market was probably getting weak, you would close them out. So it didn't didn't uh, indicate there was going to be a huge sell-off, but what it did do is put the positioning of a portfolio in the appropriate direction. Now, look what happened today. They gapped it down, took it all the way down to what would be kind of assumed as a support level, and bounced it back up as a hammer signal. If they open this positive tomorrow, it's kind of telling you that this sideways wedge is still in progress, that there isn't any major selling, just kind of oscillation. The NASDAQ provided that same selling uh, indication. Notice how when they gapped it up, getting close to the overbought area, right at the 50, and they traded it lower, told you there wasn't a lot of strength after they gapped it up. And they gapped it up right to this little resistance level. Again, telling us that if they opened lower the next day, the 50-day moving average was going to continue to act as a resistance level, and this area was going to continue to act as a resistance level. Once again, was it indicating there would be a big, huge down day? No, but it told investors to start taking profits that they weren't going up in this direction. They were back into the trend channel. Today, the uh, NASDAQ opened at much lower, but as you can see, it traded positive on the day. Not necessarily telling you there's a reversal, but positive trading or at least flat trading from here would still indicate that this trend channel was in progress, that there might not be any hard selling after this. The advantage of recognizing the fry pan bottoms, which is one of the major candlestick uh, patterns, you can see how LSCC had a fry pan bottom breakout. And notice what it's done over the last three days after breaking out. Remember, the pattern is the uh, cumulative knowledge of everybody buying and selling. The pattern breakout was based upon something other than the market direction. As you can see how strong it was over the past few days when the market was selling off. This is an added benefit of candlestick patterns, is not only are they going to produce inordinate profits for you, but they're probably even going to produce profits when the rest of the market is moving in the opposite direction. Maintaining positions and patterns are much easier than just an uptrending stock. Um, for example, as we can see in MRNS, the fry pan bottom was in progress, even though it sold off yesterday, it traded positive today. So essentially, a very simple rule when trading a pattern. As long as it stays above the T-line, you can stay long. Once again, this allows investors to have a much more accurate assessment of the direction of a uh, price trend. S-Fix, F-I-X, F-S-F-I-X. Fry pan bottom. Today, when it opened lower, it immediately started trading positive. What is the expectation of a fry pan bottom? A big price move breakout. Right here at the 50, where the fry pan bottom started, did a big bullish engulfing. Makes this very simple. If they open this positive tomorrow, you want to be buying. Your first target is here, your second target is filling the gap. Essentially, this pattern is telling you that there's a buildup of investor sentiment in spite of what the overall market was doing, making this a very viable trade. All candlestick analysis does is visually put into graphics what's going on in human nature, and the Japanese rice traders have identified which patterns are the strongest as far as taking advantage of 
what human nature normally does. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat room.